Well, in this experiment, we can make this aluminum can dance without touching it physically. In this case, we'll have a swinging magnet and the energy would be transferred to this can and it would start to oscillate. In this wonderful experiment, we will make a can dance without even touching the can. We will transfer the energy from the pendulum to the can. Isn't this magical? And all you need for this experiment is a strong neodymium magnet, a couple of plastic straws, some thread and a screw. First we will make a simple pendulum with the neodymium magnet. Since the magnet is cylindrical, we will use a small screw and then using a thread, we will make a simple magnetic pendulum. Notice the magnet doesn't stick to the can because the can is not made of iron but aluminum. This is our simple pendulum. Now when we swing the pendulum, it swings for a long time. What we will do now is that we will take a couple of straws and place a can very close to the magnet so that it doesn't touch. And now we will swing the pendulum along the length and see magically the can starts to dance. The pendulum also stops much sooner than if it were without the can. We can repeat this activity now by swinging the pendulum along the width of the can. Now we can see the can move much more. Notice that the pendulum swings for much longer in this configuration. Now why is this happening? This is because the moving magnet produces eddy currents in the can which tries to oppose the motion of the magnet. So the energy of the swinging magnetic pendulum gets transferred to the can which moves to oppose the motion of the moving magnet. Isn't this fun? You can repeat this experiment where you will use a pipe, a plastic pipe instead of the can. And here you can see that the pipe will not move because pipe is not a conductor and hence there will be no eddy currents in the pipe. And the pipe will not move and the pendulum will swing for much longer. The same as if there were no can. See children just enamored by this experiment. Well, I hope you enjoyed this experiment and now it's time to think. Now suppose the magnet was swinging along the length of the scan and then it comes to an abrupt stop. It stops much faster and when it swings across its width, it keeps swinging for a much longer time. Why does this happen? Now send us your responses at support at arvindguptatoys.com. You can also send your feedback on our Facebook.